I've done something similar to this before, but welcome to winter in the UK. Please subscribe. Yes, this is how it looks first thing in the morning. Now, actually now, this is nine o'clock. I've just got the sun coming through, but it is thick. We had a hard frost. Now, the only reason I'm out doing this is because I've had to go and start my son's car, which is an old Vauxhall Corsa. So I thought I'd just bring this one out to play. And I've done some, something very similar before, like I say, as regards how easy it is to live with an EV in winter. So here we go. So I'm covered up as you can see, it's about minus three, minus four. Uh, I think it hit about minus six last night out here in the countryside, as you can see out there. So I'm gonna get back in now without even touching this, start this Tesla up and enjoy my nice warm coffee as that thing does its job. Not me with the scraper. Because that's one of the joys of owning an EV in the winter. You don't even need to own a scraper. <laughs> and you don't need to go outside. So when these people have a crack at EVs for winter range and what they can do in the winter and what they can offer, mainly they're talking out for their backside. Yes, it affects range a tiny bit on certain models, but that Tesla has got what they call a heat pump. That heat pump is one of the most efficient you can buy in the world on any electric vehicle. So with that in mind, it really doesn't need a great deal more and you don't lose a great deal on range. And this on the other hand, the wife's little red one, no heat pump, okay? Just a basic thermal system to look after the batteries. So yes, this will lose about 25% of its range in the winter. It's accepted, it's the accepted norm. And look at this, this is just as bad. Now this one I cannot come out and do, obviously, because it hasn't got that app system, that lovely thing that Tesla owners can have, and some others now. But look how thick this is, this is really, whoa, yeah, that's just ice and frost. So there you go. Oh dear, oh dear, I hate winter. Let's get this done. So very straightforward, activate the app, the Tesla app on your phone. You will get this screen here, controls, climate, etc. Click climate, that will come up, click defrost car, and it will set everything to maximum, straight to high, as you can see on the app there. Now this will take about three to four minutes on a real bad day, and you can see there the car glowing red inside. There you go. Well, here we are at the Tesla, and as you can see, it's virtually done and dusted. All the front's done, tiny bit on the bonnet. All the glass is clear, rear screen is clear, and even the trunk at the back there is just starting to clear. As you can see that corner. So the system works very well. That's about four minutes in. So there you go, you can hear it. It does make a noise when it's doing its activation thing and defrosting. Obviously, it's got to do something, so we'll, we'll get inside. Ooh, you can hear that blowing. <laughs> it's like an oven in here. Let me just turn this uh, down now, as you can see. It puts it straight to high, okay, as you can see there. And really, there's no need now, so uh, we need to click this off. This will bring your heating up, look. Switch it off. Silence. Temperature in here now is amazing. It's set at 23.5 and it's automatic this and automatic that. All comes on automatic in the winter. Your steering wheel, your seats and everything else. Warming up it says there. Look, I've set it to that so I can, I can, you can slide it on this as well as just touch screen. You can even slide it down the bottom here look, which is pretty clever. You can hardly hear it now because the fan's gone down to a very minimum. It's obviously more than 21 in here now. Even the, these seats are warm. Everything's warm. So great. But I've been inside for about four minutes while it's done all this. So even the rear seats come on as well. Marvellous. And if, as I'm sitting here now, the seat's lovely and warm. Steering wheel is beautifully baking. So that's the thing about 
most of the top spec cars, the electric cars in the winter, can all be done by sitting indoors with the app. So let's see what the app's saying now. So there you go, it's stating the 21 that I left it set at. I can up and down this all the time, look, just click it, put it to 22, whatever temperature I want or I require when I get back in. So as you can see, I've now just been into the app and turned the heating off and it's silent in here. Heating's off, everything's off. So the app controls are amazing with the Tesla, work very, very well in the winter, especially for the heating system. So I hope you like this quick one. It was just to, to prove that, you know, in the winter, EVs are very, very efficient and very good. And yes, like I said at the front of this, certain ones, like, like little me, don't have these incredible heat pumps like Tesla and some of the other newer brands now, but Tesla was the first yet again. Uh, the Tesla heat pump has been broken down by many, many engineers on, on YouTube, and they say it's fantastic and the best on the market. Says it all really to all the non-believers and deniers and haters of Tesla, but there you go. Later people, please subscribe if you've not, and I do ask, I've got nearly 1,500 subscribers, and when I upload a video, sometimes I don't even get a 1,000. So where are you? You should be able to get that icon. It should tell you that another video has come up. Just give me the thumbs up, view it, and then job done. It helps the analytics. Cheers, people. See you next time.